Big old low pressure system, we call them bomb cyclones. Uh, nothing out of the norm there, but they do produce a strong winds just like a hurricane does. So they're essentially a low pressure. Mm -hmm. And then there is another big system off the east coast, as Sheba mentioned. So all those tied together in a way, and we're kind of nestled in between them right now. We're going to get that part of the storm system tomorrow. You can see there a national look at things. Notice big cold front extending from the east coast turns into a warm front, then back into a cold front. It's all tied together. We actually had a little cool front move through overnight, so you're going to notice it feels a little bit better this morning. That front sitting south of us. That's the big nor'easter or bomb cyclone is what a lot of people are calling it. Moving up, giving them active weather, and then this is our storm system, our cold front, and that is going to give us our beautiful fall weather. It's also going to give us some storms tomorrow. So for today, even though the cool front moved through, it's still going to be warm. 81 degrees, but overall a pretty nice day. Not going to be too bad out there. The humidity a little bit lower, so you're going to notice that as you head out the door, we've got a few upper 50s on the North Shore, low 60s south of the lake or north of the lake and low 70s south of the lake. So overall pretty nice. We've got our north wind that's helping to push in some of that drier air. That will be an east wind this afternoon and then a south wind tonight and tomorrow. Look at that 100% chance of rain tomorrow. So whenever you see a 100% chance of rain, that does not mean it can mean a lot of things, but in this case, it does not mean it's going to rain all day tomorrow. It simply means you're going to see rain more than likely tomorrow afternoon as those storms move on through. So it's not going to be an all day washout tomorrow, but it is likely to see some storms later tomorrow. So let me walk you through Wednesday. This is tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Maybe a shower or two. Not a big deal. Probably not going to see a lot of rain tomorrow morning. We'll see some clouds. We may see a passing shower or two, but the brunt of the weather won't move in until the afternoon. Now, once we get closer to three and four o'clock, we're going to be watching this line of storms blow on in, but we'll have to watch for some of these individual cells to pop up ahead of that line of storms. If that does happen, we'll have to be watching for a tornado risk during the three, four, five o'clock time frame as this squall line and those cells move on through. Now, most likely the time frame we'll be looking at the heaviest rain across our area anywhere between we'll say about 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. It'll be 4 p.m. on this side of the area, maybe about 6 p.m. in the metro and then towards 9 p.m. as you get into Miss uh, Mississippi. So from around 4 to 9, that active weather will be moving through. Damaging wind gusts and a few tornadoes are our main threat. So you can see there from 4 to 9 will be our main time frame from Lafayette to Lake Charles from around noon to 4 p.m. So uh, throughout the afternoon throughout the southern part of Louisiana. Main threats. Gusty winds, maybe an isolated tornado or two. So we got to stay weather aware tomorrow. Then the front blows through behind that line of rain. Low 70s Thursday. It will be windy on Thursday. That should say uh, 67, not um, 72. I'm not sure why the numbers are off there, but we'll be in the 60s on Friday, Saturday, and then staying in the 60s and 70s into Sunday. So the entire weekend looks nice and cold. These numbers are correct. So 81 today, 84 tomorrow, muggy with a 100% chance of rain during the afternoon, 72 and very windy on Thursday, but we'll see some sunshine return. Cool starts in the mornings in the 50s on Friday morning. Look at Saturday morning, 40s and 50s, depending on what side of the lake you're on. Saturday afternoon, only 69. Halloween will be a pleasant afternoon, but a cool evening in the 60s for trick or treating and then staying nice and cool into Monday.